welcome Christchurch to Wednesday's week of prayer focus, which is provision. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added to you. I just love hearing people's testimonies of God's amazing provision, and I have many too. So to encourage you, I thought I'd share a couple quickly. God has always, always provided for us financially and in so many other ways. And we've felt it most when we were struggling the most to get by. Checks would regularly come through the door for various specific amounts. Time and time again, we knew that the money would be for paying a bill that was just around the corner and it would always be to the penny. Praise God. I actually wrote them all down and it's wonderful to look back over them and thank God for his provision. We would pray specifically, for example, for a winter coat for one of our kids and then come home later that day to find a bag of clothes on our doorstep that included that warm winter coat in that specific size that we had just prayed for earlier with that child. And no one knew about it. No one knew that we needed it or had been praying for it other than God. And then we'd give thanks and praise, probably did a little dance as well. And literally every time it was put on as well, we would give thanks. I have loads more really cool provision testimonies that I would love to share with you. So please do ask me uh, when we can meet face to face again. I want to encourage you to start your prayer time by thanking God for his provision. Pray that God would provide for all your needs personally, your daily bread. It could be financially, maybe it's a job or something else very personal to you. Pray please that he would provide for all the church's needs, like provision of financing through giving or by other means. For members serving on teams so that church happens when we can meet again, and now in different ways in this unusual time. Please also pray and be open to what and how God wants you to give to. God knows what we need, even before we ask him. It tells us this in Matthew 6 verse 8. So trust in his promises when you come to him and ask in faith.